another booth at the 2015 Winter NAM show. I'm here with JD from AI Percussion. JD, what do you got going on for 2015? Well, we uh, came in with uh, a uh, classic series kit, uh, really something uh, traditional to what we're doing. Uh, this is the custom line, high-end, uh, high lacquer kit. Um, we also come in with a, a, a new series of snare this year, uh, designed with uh, in collaboration with Ray. So uh, this is uh, one of the uh, one of the two we brought, uh, called the New Era, uh, with a new badge, new claw, a thicker hoop, and a completely different uh, construction. So this is an eight ply shell with an eight ply ring, and this uh, particular one is an eight tension. So uh, uh, except uh, instead of having a ten tension uh, snare like we do on our high end. The new era is, comes with uh, eight tension and a six tension that I will show you later. Now yes. this lacquer here you talked about, it's really shiny. Can you tell me a little bit about that lacquering process? Well, this is uh, the kind of uh, feature that we'd like to showcase because that we like to showcase as a small custom shop. Uh, being able to do a high lacquer requires uh, you know knowledge and, and, and savoir faire that uh, you you know uh, that you can do only on well not only but mostly when you handcraft stuff yeah. so by showcasing the high lacquer like this it allow us to show that it's handmade we AI were uh, very uh, innovative in the 80s with the lacquer so we'd like to continue that tradition yes. yeah so uh, we make sure that there's no orange peel and there's no uh, uh, that the lacquer is always nice. This is why we chose uh, the black as well to showcase that. Now you mentioned that this uh, is a completely new construction. Can you tell me like if there was one thing that really stands out that makes the 2015 version different? What do you think that would it be? It is subtle and again all of the uh, all of the uh, features that we did and all the improvement that we came out with are not perceivable in, in the snare per se because we spent a lot of time with uh, Ray improving on the, the way we manufacture our drums. Uh, Specifically here, having a thicker hoop, at a 16-ply hoop, which to the eye doesn't really uh, show as opposed to a 14, allows us to put more tension per, per uh, lug, uh, uh, you know, because this is uh, thicker. So it allows us to have less lug on the drum, making it a lighter drum, and preserving the typic, uh, typical uh, Aon sound. Um, of course, this is all with snare bed, uh, bearing edge. Uh, the reinforcement ring is a bit uh, thicker on this one with an 8 plus 8, so it does a really good job. But specifically, yeah, the, 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 what makes it a different uh, snare as opposed to the other ones, uh, basically the hoop, the, the new size. design in, in, the, the, in the, the components, and the, uh, the thickness of the reinforcement ring. It's a great looking kit. What do we have over here? Uh, the line that uh, called the Bedford with the steel hoop. And this is uh, the entry level uh, line at, at AOT. This year, the Bedford line is this compact kit. So this uh, denim color uh, kit comes uh, in this, in, in only one configuration, which is this one, uh, a uh, 12 by 8, 14 by 11, and uh, 22 by 12. Yeah. And so whenever you want a compact kit at AOT and you want the Bedford kit, this is what you get. That's what you and get. And uh, that allows us to have a uh, kit ready for retailing at a decent price. And again, this is made in uh, North America. It's the same components as uh, the others, uh, all of the other uh, kits we have. Uh, the only thing that makes it different, it, you have the choice of one color, and it's that configuration. So the, the finish as well, is it's only one finish. That's it, That's yeah. it. one color, one. so uh, yeah. That allow, that's, those are the tricks that allows the manufacturer like, like, my, like uh, us yeah, to, yeah. to have a, a, a lower uh, cost at production, you know, limiting the, 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 the variables. So but our main concern with this, as you compare other manufacturers' uh, compact kit, is we wanted to make sure that our compact kit sounded great. We wanted to make sure it had that typical Aon sound. Yeah. So this is why you have a, at least, you know, uh, you have a 22 uh, instead of having those very small yeah. kick. Yeah. So this is the AOT Bedford. It's uh, entry level, but it has all the AOT qualities. Yeah. Um, Sound and persona. I, I noticed this uh, bass drum shell is almost half as deep as, you know, uh, Yes, the this standard. is a 12. Yeah. This is a 12. 12. Uh, yeah. It's a, so it, it is. It's half. Uh, uh, I'm dying to hear what it sounds like. So we're going to check out the sound of the AOT Bedford. Here we go. It looks like a 14 inch. Uh, what are the dimensions on that? That's a 14 by 11. All right. Well, I guess we can do it. 
And this one? This is a 12 by 8. 12 by 8. And then the bass drum, we don't have a beater, but we'll give it a try. This is that 12 inch deep uh, yeah, shell. By 22. By 22. It's got some kick to it. That's, that's, that sounds great, yes. And we haven't poured, uh, ported the, 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 uh, the resonance uh, head, but you could do that. But for the show, we, yeah. we did so. It, it does sound really good. We'll go over here. Uh, and now we're going to test out the sound of the new era. Here's the snare drum. And then the rim shot. That's got some resonance. Wow. I'm going to go down the toms here. Sounds great. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you, JD, for taking us through AI 2015. Thank you. Thank you. And look for more AI in Drum Magazine throughout 2015. Keep drumming.